Hey everyone, this is Tim with SparkFun Electronics. We're here to talk to you about the Ultimate IMU today. This is a great little sensor package. It allows you to do a lot of stuff and it allows you to do it all wirelessly. So let's take a few minutes and go into it and get it from start to streaming on the computer. Get that data output. So the parts that we're going to need to use this Ultimate IMU are the Ultimate IMU, also a one gigabyte SD card, We'll need two XBs, and we'll need a USB XB Explorer, and a LiPo battery. The SD card is going to need the FW.SFE firmware that's available for download on the GitHub. So let's put these all together and uh, get this thing running on that computer. So we're going to need to start by plugging in the XB units. Actually, we'll do the SD card first before we cover that up. And then the battery. And if you'll notice there's a blue light on, that means that everything's running right. If you don't see that blue light, something's wrong, likely with your SD card. You might have forgot that firmware, uh, you might have had some issues with the XB connection. Um, that's a good indicator of something being wrong. So we're going to find the terminal software on our computer. If you want to find on an XP computer, there's one that's built in. It's called HyperTerminal. Uh, you can also do TerraTerm. There's other terminals out there that you can download for free. Um, today we're going to show you on HyperTerminal so that you can see what's built into an XP machine. So we go to Start Menu, follow that up by All Programs, then Accessories, then communications, and then hyperterminal. That's the location for the software. You might want to put a shortcut on your desktop. If this is your first time opening hyperterminal, you're going to want to go ahead and allow it to be your default program for the what it's asking you. And then you don't need to give it anything other than an area code. And get to this where it's going to ask for a name. I always just use a one letter name because it's not important. And then we want to use the connect using and instead of being the modem we want to pick our port, our serial COM port. In this case it's going to be COM7. This is set to 9600 baud and it's eight data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and flow control is going to need to be set to none. Once we hit OK, it's going to open up that port. And we've got data streaming. So this is our output data from the sensor, wirelessly transmitting from over here to our computer. You'll see that the data is changing up as I move it. A couple things that we want to notice is that if we hit enter, it should enter into a menu mode. From there you can make changes to your sensor output data, you can do all kinds of things with the menu mode. This is also a good point for troubleshooting. If you're not getting that data streaming, sometimes the IMU can actually get set to just outputting GPS data and then it won't look like it's working. So we want to go into the menu, we want to choose selection number 8 which is serial output messages and then we want to double check that it's number two sensor data and once that's done it should always exit back out to streaming serial data and that's it we've got the XB running wirelessly we've got the sensor data going from here to there everything's ready to roll have fun with your IMU